Here we are on the driver's side, we're at the pump module. You guys elected to go with the puck design. It's a unique aspect of what Pierce Manufacturing offers in their pump design. 1500 GPM, you got 480 gallons of water, 20 gallon foam cell with your Husky 3 system. Talk to me why you guys elected and chose to go with the puck design. So this is our first puck. We are a traditional side mounted pump panel company. All of our pumpers were designed in the same fashion. The puck was important to us with this particular truck. Compar area of compartmentation. It also gave us the ability to carry a little bit more in the way of ground ladders when we get to the rear of the truck. We went with the puck, basically gave us this area here between the cab and the pump panel of a little bit of extra space behind the pump panel and then up to the cross layer. Our traditional water capacity was 750 gallons. Prior to purchasing this Quint, we relied heavily on an engine, 750 gallons of water, 1,200 feet to 5 inch. Ladders were dry. Coming into this, there were some concessions to be made. 500 was the max as far as water capacity. Hose capacity was a little bit limited from what we were accustomed to. We looked at how we could maximize that water delivery in our fire attack, and that's where we went with the Husky 3. We took a 20 gallon hit in water capacity in order to accommodate 20 gallons of foam. The foam gives us a little bit more of a power punch and ability to suppress the fire a little quicker. And our thought process was that we would make up what we would lose with the 250 gallons of water by adding a little bit of foam to the suppression effort. Standard pump panel that you would find in a typical puck, very untraditional to us. Everything we always purchased was lever pull levers. This is our first slide lever type pump panel. A little bit different configuration, which we couldn't get away from because of the puck. It was a little bit of a learning curve for us. We do a ton of training on this truck to make sure that muscle memory is there. It's worked well for us. As far as the cross leg configuration, this was an area that we spent a ton of time on. We hand drew the compartment. We worked hand in hand with engineering out in Wisconsin and Appleton to make sure that we can get the appropriate height between the bottom of the cross leg and the top of the cross leg, but still accommodate ladders at the top, the backward, and the pipe pole. The pull through trough configuration for the cross legs, what you can't see here is that we notch back the actual poly troughs in order to give us the ability to get in here and grab loops. So you're running inch and three quarter, you have two inch, you also have two and a half speed mm -hmm. legs in here. So, and on top of that too, compartmentation, it's transverse. So this now allows you to have smaller ladder pike poles and things like that. Mm -hmm. Your backboards are coming off the other side and things like that. So yep. that upper transverse is important too. Yeah, absolutely. So it's pre-piped to the cross lays for all three bays. The two inch or two and a half is not connected. Right. We dead. leave it dead. But we do that because we're trying to estimate the stretch, but we do have the ability to connect into the swivel up there, or we can connect directly into the side discharge over here. I think one of the other unique things about the puck design too offered by Pierce Manufacturing is that it helps you with a shorter wheelbase also. And I know that was important to you. This apparatus, this quint is at 39 feet 6 inches. I think you said the wheelbase is 242 inches, I believe you so, said. Right. We want max wheelbase, which is 242 inches. That was as long as we can get the wheelbase within the spec. And that was done to maximize, obviously, the ability for us to carry equipment and, and to meet our ground ladder requirements. Keeping it under 40 feet was important for a lot of the tight areas that we're dealing with down in this region, in this community that they serve in their first due. We were moving away from a 48-foot tandem axle ladder, which was a challenge to navigate into cul-de-sacs and stuff like that. And that was one of the main reasons why we stayed away from the tandem rear axle ascendant quint model. They could put this thing just about anywhere. It's working for us. It works for us across the township and throughout the township. It actually works well in our mutual aid communities. Too. Well, good. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it.